YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Atticus here from Red Face Gaming and I'm here to bring you um, sort of kind of like a fishing guide video. Uh, I know it's been a hot minute, some stuff's been going on guys. I've been sick and I'm feeling a lot better now so I wanted to go ahead and bring this guide out to you guys. Uh, I am level 60 now. I am working on gear score right now. I kind of have my fishing gear equipped um, sort of for the video. So uh, real quick we're going to go over what the topic is today and today we're going to be going over getting the legendary fishing pole now there are four legendary fishing poles that you have a chance of getting um and it is at random because you get a chest at the f at the end of uh, of the fishing um quest chain and so uh you i do recommend being a higher level obviously you can start at a low level you know once you get to windsward or whatever and uh, you acquire the first quest uh, for fishing and you get it from uh, I believe it's uh, master fisherman shields in windsward which he is right over here in this area he's like sitting on a dock I think right here and this is also a uh, it's next to a fishing hotspot as well so it's not that far away and that's going to be where you collect your first uh, fishing quest once you're done with the beach when you start so uh, once again you're going to the quests are going to change uh, as you go up it's going to have you collect items and fishing items and stuff like that uh, all over across the map right you're going to go from Windsor Windsward you're going to go to Monarchs Bluffs you're going to go everywhere you guys you're going to go to Evanskill you're going to go to Brightwood uh, Eden Grove and then the, the last one is going to be over here in Reekwater. And uh, this is the last guy you're going to talk to when you get to the final end of the quest chain, Gaspar Mashera. And he's going to give you the legendary fishing pole. When you open the box, you have a chance of getting four different ones. So you have, uh, the one that I have is the Angry Earth fishing pole, which is, I am, you have no idea how ecstatic I am that I got this one. Because this was the one that I wanted the most. Because you have the Lost fishing pole, the Corrupted fishing pole and the ancient fishing pole and the angry earth fishing pole those are the four legendary fishing poles you can get uh, I personally think uh, the angry earth fishing pole is the best one you can get and the worst one that you can get is the lost fishing pole because like two or three of its perks are sturdy and I mean who really cares about durability when you're fishing what you want is you want lucky lucky day or lucky night that's what you want um, Colossus is pretty good. Um, for me personally, this is my favorite because um, I tend to have better luck catching legendary fish in saltwater, which most people probably do. I won't lie. But uh, this uh, tier 3 hotspot down here, right off a of Haunted Isle over here in uh, what is that? Cutlass Keys. This is my favorite fishing hole for farming legendaries. Um, the most legendary fish I've caught in like an hour grind is probably seven. Um, no, no, it's more than that. I think it was probably about nine, but I probably would have got more if I was using bait, but I wasn't. I was just waiting for the same hole to uh, respawn, and I kept fishing in there. But if you do a circuit, you probably have a better chance of maximizing your legendary output. Um, so try to get back on track. Um, it is totally worth it to do the quest, uh, question guys, because you will get fishing gear once you hit, uh, I, I believe it's the quest before the legendary fishing pool one. It'll give you, uh, a chest that you will open. It'll give you four pieces of fisherman gear. I got a hat, uh, level 60 hat, level 60 chest, level 60 legs, level 60, uh, boots. But while you're questing, you'll also get, um, scaled obviously around the level of the area that you get the quest from uh gear around that level like in the 30s and stuff like that 40s up until you get this chest which gives you more gear and what's awesome is is when you maximize all the lucky that you get on this like this only has um colossus but the chest has lucky waters which is a large boost the legs have lucky waters which is a large boost and the feet have lucky waters which is a large boost you want large boosts right because lucky gives you a large boost for better fish better quality fish while colossus only gives you a larger 
um, chance of catching larger fish. So I guess when you kind of have like them both together, it, it helps out a lot. Having one of each, which is why I really like this, because while I'm also fishing for legendaries, I'm also farming uh, large salmon, which uh, large salmon and fish fillet do very well on the trade posts for doing, um, what do you call it, town board quests. It's a good way to make gold. Um, <laughs> besides me right now, because I'm broke, because I decided to uh, drop, like, 17,000 coins on tier 5 cooking recipes that I had no luck farming with uh, going through Shattered Mountain. So I bought, I think, the intelligence, the strength, the constitution, and then strength and con ones, which was like around 2,500, almost 3,000 gold each on the cheapest ones I could find, and I needed them. But um, I did put all those recipes and grinded for some mats and cooked up some food. Threw it on the trade post. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get a good revenue back in from all that. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, besides, I have like 600 fish fillet and like 36 medium and 26 large. I sell the large for like 200 gold each. So um, I'll have around like 4 to 5k back, which I'm not stressing about too much. Money is easy to make in this game, but it's also super easy to spend. So. Once again, guys, um, I highly recommend, especially if you're level 16, you got nothing to do, um, to do the fishing quest chain. It helps, you know, give you passive gold. It helps, you know, you can sell stuff on the trade post, the legendary fish for tier 5 cooking, uh, especially for like wars and end game content. Uh, the tier 5 foods on my server for like the 40 strength, 40 intellect, those ones are the two main ones. Um, I'm selling those for like 500 gold a piece and that does pretty well but like I said guys you gotta spend money to make money and or you got to have the time to grind so yeah guys I hope this guide helped uh, if you have any questions leave a comment down below in the video I will try to do my best to explain it to you um, the quests are super simple guys, super easy. The only thing is, is like you're going to be gate kept by level. Um, I was level 57 when I really started like the, the rest of the fishing quest. And so it wasn't too much of a problem until, you know, I had to wait until I hit level 60. And then I had to get the last quest. You have to ding level 100 in fishing. And that's literally the last quest. So all you have to do is fish. It's just very time consuming. But... With that time consumption, you're going to make some good passive gold. and But that's for a whole nother video, guys. So yeah, if you have any questions on the Legendary Fishing Pole or anything like that, guys, I'll try to do my best to, uh, to answer the questions. If you have any, once again, uh, leave a like, drop a comment, uh, subscribe if you like the content, guys. Become a Red Face member. Um, now that we're feeling a little bit better, COVID's gone, uh, we can get back into it. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. And y'all need to take care and stay healthy. I love you guys.